welcome back. In this example, we're going to learn how to find a 95% confidence interval estimate using the Z distribution. So here I have a data set on enrollment in private institutions. This is from 2000 till 2016. For this example, we are going to assume that this is a population data set and this consists of all the data for the entire population. So what happens is sometimes when we're doing research, large amounts of historical data are available to us for that topic of interest that we are pursuing. Because of that, we are able to calculate the population standard deviation. Such cases are referred to as the population standard deviation known case. So this video will show you how to calculate the margin of error and how to develop an interval estimate for the population mean using Excel. Now the formula to find a confidence interval estimate using the Z table is this. X bar is your average of your data set plus and minus Z alpha divided by 2 multiplied by the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Now the objective of this formula is you are basically trying to find two numbers. So here on your left side you have the point estimate minus the margin of error and on the right side you have the point estimate plus the margin of error. So you're trying to find two values. So in order to do this we need to find certain pieces of information. The first piece of information, the first statistic we need is an X bar value. So X bar can be found in Excel using the average function. And you're going to select your data set, close bracket. Now you also need to find sample size because the N in your formula refers to sample size. In Excel, you can use the count function. So this will basically count how many number of values you have in your data set. Now, since we're using the Z distribution and this is a population standard deviation known case, we're going to calculate the population standard deviation using the formula in Excel. So here in Excel, you have the stdev.p function. This is your population standard deviation function. So again, inside the bracket, you're going to select the entire data set. Now, we still need to find the margin of error. The margin of error is basically this entire right side in your formula. Here, we're going to do a 95% confidence interval estimate. So your 95% is also known as your confidence coefficient. Now, the alpha that you see here is basically 1 minus the confidence coefficient. So 1 minus 0.95. Now we have all the pieces of information we need to calculate our margin of error. So let's get started. In Excel, we're going to use the confidence.norm function. So when you start typing, you'll see the function pop up. It's the confidence.norm function. So when you open up the bracket, it's going to ask you first for alpha. So alpha is the 0 0.05, comma, it's going to ask you for standard deviation. Here, remember, since we're using the Z distribution, we need to insert our population standard deviation. Comma, size is referring to your sample size. So here your margin of error is 459.5. Now how we put this together is, as per your formula here, X bar is your mean plus margin of error, x bar minus margin of error. So as I mentioned before, we are looking for two values. So here the first value will be x bar minus margin of error. And second value is x bar plus the margin of error. So in this way, we can easily construct a 95% confidence interval estimate in Excel using the confidence.norm function. So how do we interpret this answer? We can state that we're 95% confident that our population mean will be between 20,420 
and 21,390.